Hey, what's up guys? I'm hanging out today with my brother. He came up from Texas because we're doing an experiment with car batteries and he used to work with car batteries. I did. He used to sell them, but we're not selling them today. We're actually gonna be hacking them open. I got a new car and we thought, what a better way to celebrate than to rip the battery out, crack it open and show you what's inside. So let's get right to it. Now the thing about Lexus is they have decorative shrouds that cover a lot of the engine components, which makes it look really nice, but makes it kind of difficult to get down into the components themselves. So we've got to pop off all these plastic rivets in order to be able to access the battery compartment, and that's just a matter of taking off a few screws and pulling the battery right up and out. All right, we're gonna take the negative terminal off first. Once the negative is disconnected, the electrical system should be protected. Then we'll go to the positive next. So update guys, we disconnected the positive negative terminals. We released the J hook and bracket that holds the battery down in the car. It should be ready to just pull out. Sure so is. we're gonna just heave this thing out and show you what it looks like. And I'll get this one since your gloves are like shredded. Yeah, they're gone. All right. Dude, this thing's really heavy. <laughs> These batteries are like 40 to 50 pounds. It's super, super heavy, and you can see there's a liquid in here. If you shake it, it'll slosh around. You can actually even see the liquid moving. This is called a wet cell battery. There are types of batteries that are called non-spillable, and they have an absorbent glass mat on the inside that'll soak up the sulfuric acid and keep it from spilling out. Mm -hmm. But what we're after is actually this stuff. This is a mixture of about 25 to 30% sulfuric acid, and the rest is water. And we're after that sulfuric acid and the lead plates inside. So let's go crack this thing open and make that a reality. All right guys, so we're in the workshop and we're ready to crack this thing open. What's the best way to open a lead acid battery? Probably to not to, but we're gonna do it anyway. Good a big bucket of baking soda water is really important because it is a basic solution. And since we're dealing with acids, if anything goes wrong, we'll have a place where we can neutralize that acid very quickly. It's good to have this set up and standing by. If you were to open these ports and tip it over, it would spill out. So this is a spillable battery. It's so not recommended to take these vents off. But you can see if we do, it opens a little port here where you can add more water. You want to use distilled water to top off your battery. You don't want to add more acid. That's correct. All right, it looks like things are getting pretty serious. Let's do this. Let's get down to business. Because these have acid on them, if they drop them in the solution of baking soda, we should see it fizz a little bit. And that's an indication that I actually have battery acid on my gloves now as well. Good stuff. Check it out guys, we got the six ports taken off the top and you can already see the battery acid in there. So actually the safest way at this point would probably just be take it over to a container, turn it over and safely get the uh, acid out of there without having to crack anything. And because we're working with sulfuric acid, the kind of container we want to be using is glass. Here we go. Ooh, it splashes. I hope they have a good replacement battery for me or I won't be driving anywhere anytime soon. Yeah. If you feel your skin start itching, it's a good time to slap some baking soda solution on it. Mm -hmm. If it gets on your clothes, it'll bleach the color out of them. I think that's good enough for now. If I'm not mistaken, this is about 70% water, and there's a really easy way to concentrate the acid, and that's simply by boiling the water off. But you gotta make sure you're using the right kind of container when you do that, or it'll explode. So we don't know if this is plastic welded together, or if it's glued, or what it is. We're gonna use some tools and try and pry it up gently to see if we can just gently remove that container. If not, we'll bring out the big guns. <laughs> I feel like this could work. You gotta be careful when you're pulling this up because if it snaps, it could spit acid back in your face. So probably a good time to put your safety glasses on. It seems to be working pretty well. <laughs> My thumb's like full on sticking out. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put on a new glove. All right, we got the seal broken. I think this lid is actually attached to the uh, lead plates right now. There. So if we can find a way to pull those up and out or disconnect them. We should be in business. <laughs> Success! So this is what the inside of a car battery looks like, guys. And you can see how there are lead plates divided into six different cells. Each one of these cells generates two volts. And by linking them all in series, we get a 12 volt battery. I think what we're gonna do now is pour out the rest of this acid, and then we're gonna extract these lead plates, soak them in a solution of baking soda water to neutralize the acid, and then we'll take a look at what kind of materials we've been able to salvage here. First thing we're gonna do is break up all these terminals, because right now, if we short this out, we could eventually have a disaster in our hands. So luckily for us, lead is a relatively soft metal, and just with a little poking and prying, we should be able to break these things right off. Oh, good sparks on that. Shorted that one out. So now, can one of these battery casings be recycled? Yeah, actually about 98% of the battery could be recycled. Now the reason that you want to take these to a recycling depot is because the lead content, the lead, the sulfuric acid, just in general, it's, it's not really something you want to put into a landfill. When you want to get rid of a car battery, you can recycle them by taking them to any auto parts dealer. Okay, hold on one second. Mark. The reveal. There we go. All I'm gonna do is just dump them in this bucket here. 
Watch how much this fizzes when the acid hits it. Wow, it's a powerful reaction. It is starting to stink though. Oh, no moss? Wow, I think we're breaching the upper limits here. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Put a wooden spoon over it. Now this is generating all kinds of gas, which smells terrible, and I don't believe the gas is flammable, and to prove it, I'm willing to light it with a barbecue igniter. Got a fire extinguisher here, got a lit flame here. Let's go ahead and test this thing out. Put it out. Now you see the flame just went out, that's because it actually is carbon dioxide coming out, but carbon dioxide will steal the oxygen and won't sustain a flame every time. But you can see some of these are not actually encased. All these other ones have like a vinyl pouch around them, which I imagine is some kind of a permeable membrane. But looking at these things up close, you can say this contains lead. It's really thin, and there's like a metal mesh in there to hold it all together, but that right there is basically lead metal. And there's a lot of cool things you can do with lead metal, and we're gonna be harvesting this. So guys, we gotta run, but uh, we are not done with this project yet. We're gonna catch in the next video. What we've got is some sulfuric acid that we are gonna concentrate down. We've got some lead plates that we are gonna salvage and turn into all kinds of cool stuff. And we got this plastic casing that we're basically gonna clean up and recycle. So big thanks to my brother Mark, coming all the way up here from Texas to be with us today. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Now you know what's inside your car battery. So we're gonna come back to you with a new video showing you what you do with lead and sulfuric acid from a car battery. It's really cool stuff. It's really crazy science. And we'll be looking for you in that video. Talk to you then, bye.